Man, you're such an Instagram boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Take the photo of the photo. <laughs> photo of the photo. <laughs> For everybody watching, will you introduce yourself? I'm Lupita and um, I actually went to modeling and acting school back when I was 11 years old right. until I was 14. And I've just helped my friends build their portfolios um, here and there for fun for a few years now. My name is Garrett. I reached out to AJ. Uh, two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago for some tips on how to kind of jumpstart my career as a full-time photographer because he seemed very successful at it. So I was like, well, I was like, if anyone's going to give me pointers, it's probably going to be this guy. So there's a little nub on the side. That is for that cap, so you don't have to worry about it. That's just if you're going to transport it and keep the glass safe. So then there's a button on the back, or sorry, on the side near the back, other side. See it in the corner there? Oh, yeah. Yep, there we go. So you're gonna hear it flash, you'll hear it charge up each time, yep, just like that. So this little guy. Yes. So it should be sticking on there, uh, but for some reason it just came loose, so I gotta re-glue it on. Go ahead, and it's gonna be kind of like a little, yep. Very nice, uh, pull it right, yep, right, right there. Tighten that down, don't worry about the plastic, it's flexible. So there's a lot of different math planning and distance you can do, of course, which I'm not sure if the studio stuff you kind of learned that way, but I run and gun it. So the math is important if you really want to get things precise, but a lot of the shots that I get, it's about feeling how the light warps and it's knowing kind of how light hits and bends around your subjects. So what was this called again? The basic bear. The basic bear. <laughs> the basic bear. Take a picture of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. So why don't you do a little uh, PSA about the place? Or I don't know, just a little history. Vineyards. This is Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. It's in Russian River. She's doing a better job than I. <laughs> Can actually who works here or works here? <laughs> we have beautiful vineyards to the right. Are they Pinot? They're Pinot grapes. These are Pinot grapes. We'll use these to make rosé. Where we're at is called the Pavilion, where we do a lot of the events, but we can't do events right now, obviously. But. And beyond yonder, that thing. Look at, there's the uh, uh, water tower. It's not a historical landmark, but it, it kinda is. is. It kinda is. Um, it's been here since the earliest times of Santa Rosa. Um, it used to be called the Iron Giant because it was just steel plating before we painted it. And lots of people have um, come just to climb the tower. Like rock climbers will come just to come and climb this. Currently, we allow companies like the firefighters and the Peace Corps to be able to climb that for training purposes and paint flags and stuff like this. I don't know. You show me how you'd set up the light, and I'll hold it for you. Let's say you wanted to get a little bit of dramatic shadow on her. What, where she's standing with everything going on. So you got the bright sun behind. So to control this, obviously, let's be. A. So A is this light, our yeah. preset. So you can change, yep, just like that. So let's create something that's a little more dramatic with the, with the light so it's not so even. So what would you need to do? You tell me and I'll be your assistant. Bring it like parallel to her. Okay. I'm doing this one handed while filming. Let's see. Uh, uh, ow, ow, ow. That's fine. That's fine. Yep, that's that's okay. That's fine. A little commentary for the videos. Uh, there we go. Question I proposed was how does he eliminate the, sh the shadow that's, you can see in this video right now, there's shadow from the grass and light on the grass on the other side of it. So, how does he eliminate that in his photo, which I'm sure I'm popping up on the screen right now? So, do you want a hint? Okay, so you were right to go with angle. So you got low, right? So you could play with cutting out the horizon of, of being the grass and just making it that fence or above. That's one way of doing it. That's one way. The other thing was just to have her move. <laughs> so you put her over here. <laughs> So 
Sweet Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen. I'm a little excited. It, just did, it didn't happen. <laughs> Anthony doesn't know. Anthony doesn't know. There's a perfect wedding. I would want to have dinner in the dance. Right. So that became a bit of a. I can't have the song of that. You know I can't play this whole bit because of the song. Yeah, I know. Really? It's called the Parade? Yeah. Anything that's anything that uh, is not is mine. Cover? Well, because then who's the cover? They own the rights to that song. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> so we have another label called Angeline, which is mass produced. Most of this, not most, most, but a good portion of this facility is made for Angeline. So, do you do modeling for work or for fun? For fun. For fun. I kind of put your eyes back towards me. That's really cool. But see, make her jump out from that shadow and makes her it makes it more two dimen or three dimensional with the photo. So you have two layers in it. Getting more comfortable using flash because I never use it. So I, every time I use it, it comes out so awkward looking because it's either too harsh or it looks to know and like it's like okay you can tell he's obviously using flash or it's like versus the ones i took today where it's like you could if someone who knows cameras you're like okay you probably use a flash in this situation but most people are gonna think like oh you just manipulating the natural light or something okay so getting the flash to look more natural like i'm not purposely bringing out a flash big old flash and everything gotcha what style do you want to do like primarily for photography uh, mostly portraits um uh, probably i need to take some photoshop classes that's one thing i do need to do other than that, I just need to get out of my comfort zone. Like the kind of stuff we did today, that's not how I usually shoot my portraits. So it's like I usually do like the typical kind of portrait shooting, where it's like um, I just kind of use use whatever natural. Like I don't, you know, I wait till golden hour to go shoot. Or I either shoot early in the morning. I don't shoot during the summer at all because I don't have the equipment for it. Right. So just getting more comfortable with flash, so I don't have to worry about going. Like, oh damn, it's 3 p.m. I can't go shoot. And so I can be like, okay, let's find some shade, bring my flash, then gold, and then. Just because I want to, just gotta get a little bit little B-roll footage. Oh, apparently this was recording for the last four minutes. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> Dumb. So just talking about food and crazy. And this thing, you can see from the camera, it is climbable, but there's a point where you break from the 90 degrees and you go, well, let's say past that, and it becomes really scary up there. Or zombie apocalypse. Screw that noise! <laughs> and back in Prohibition time, if you look right over here. Oh man, I've not worked here in a while. Uh, Twin for Winery. This is what this place is to be. But during Prohibition, to survive, they would send wine in these burrows through the um, transatlantic railroads really to good. the cities. Ooh. Oh, I call these Jurassic Park plants. <laughs> Oh, the big birds. You know, no, you gotta go. You gotta go in there. Cabbage, my cabbages. Can you please, can you please go in there and like poke through like a dinosaur? Come on, do it. Do for the vlog. Do for the vlog. Do for the vlog. The style won't let you. Get in there. Get in there. And do something funny. It would be perfect, literally, for what you just said. This is what. Some buzz. What is that? Was that? Those those Air Jordans. Pump ups. Were those Air Jordans? Yeah, Air Jordans had the pump up stuff. Had the pump ups, and you were like '90s, and you'd be like, "Pump it up," and you'd have to like. Reebok. It's Reebok. Was it Reebok? The Jordans did them too. I, I don't Jordans think so. Or I... Nike. Nike Airs did them. Trust me. <laughs> you gotta do your whole Jordan thing. What? You gotta do your whole jutsu. What? You do your whole jutsu. What you doing? See some real speed time. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video.